All right, let's uh, bring you the new, uh, the front page of the stories on the front page of uh, newspaper headlines right now. And uh, we will begin with the voice of liberty. The major story here says, uh, Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal, Supreme Court Justice Dati Jo bows out ahead of Atiku Obi appeal cases on Tinubu. Presidential Election Petitions uh, Tribunal, Supreme Court Justice Dati Jo bows out ahead of Atiku Obi appeal cases on Tinubu. And uh, there is, it shows that there's been a reduction in the number of uh, justices uh, slated to Oversee the cases of uh, Tiko Abubakar and Peter B. Uh, suit against the election victory of President Bola Tinubu to 10, following Justice Musa Datijo Muhammad's retirement. Mm -hmm. And then another story here politics is the only thing thriving, is the only thriving industry in Nigeria. Afai Babalola is speaking. Politics is the only thriving industry in Nigeria. Afe Babalola is speaking. Serap uh, urges court Tinubu to stop lawmakers from buying, receiving 360 SUVs. This matter has stirred up conversation across uh, the social media in, in the past weeks with regards to the SUVs uh, that um, lawmakers will be receiving and Serap the Social Rights and Accountability Project is asking or uh, urging the courts to stop lawmakers from buying, receiving 360 SUVs. Now, Soludo, as the governor of uh, Anambra, is giving reasons uh, why Abgas Ejogu will win. Shatima arrives U.S. to partake in food security dialogue. Uh, this is the conversation we had earlier. Uh, before we picked up the papers this morning. And then Nigeria's use are global assets. U.S. official is saying this. Another story at the top corner here. Kogi, Governor Bello, allegedly escapes three attempted attacks. But he has come out to refute this uh, story. Recall that his information, Commissioner for Information, uh, Kingsley Fanwu, had said that uh, the governor on his way to Abuja from Lokoja was attacked. Uh, he had, there was an assassination attempt on his life, but uh, the governor has said that uh, it was just uh, a matter of misunderstanding between his security detail and some a sister agency while he was en route to Abuja from uh, Lukoja, and uh, that matter was sorted amicably. And then we have this story talking about the $11 billion PNID versus Nigeria suit uh, UK court sets today as judgment date. The PNID versus Nigeria suit uh, UK court uh, sets the judgment date as uh, today. Recall this matter has been on since uh, 2017. Uh, the, the, the London court had taken up this case and uh, the PNID talking about processes and industrial development uh, case where they entered an agreement with Nigeria in 2010 to build a gas processing plant in Calabar, Cross River State. Uh, but the company said the deal collapsed because uh, the Nigerian government did not fulfill its end of the bargain and claiming that uh, Nigeria breached the terms of contract. And so they took a legal recourse and secured an arbitral award against uh, the country. So we will be looking forward to what the judgment will be like later today. We'll move now to the first news newspaper. The major story here, presidential poll appeals, legal fireworks begin today at Supreme Court. Presidential poll appeals, legal fireworks begin today at Supreme Court. And then we have another story at the top corner. Governor Kogi governor escapes assassination as unknown soldiers attack convoy. And we told you that uh, that report has been refuted by the governor where he said it was just a matter of a misunderstanding be between his security detail and a sister agency which was resolved. Another story at the top corner, Supreme Court justices depleted to 10 as that teacher retires, federal government, being a government, seek collaboration with communities to resettle IDPs and the IC to pay liquidated banks, creditors, depositors, 1.6 billion naira soon. Uh, the managing director is speaking.
Rike Pandev Lambet Gumi says any Nigerian can be FCT minister. Pandev Lambet Gumi says any Nigerian can be FCT minister. And uh, add the down corner here, Boko Haram attacks customs house in Yobi kill officer, an unfortunate incident there. Borno bans uh, street begging, loitering, EU to invest 5.4 million euros on teachers training in Nigeria. And farmers killings, Igboho gives herders seven day ultimatum to vacate southwest. To the Daily Times now, and the major story here, Atiku Obi will not be declared president today. Atiku Obi will not be declared president today. Lawyers tell Nigerians. Neither will Tinubu be sacked today. Supreme Court will first run normal processes. They say, uh, let verdict help not end democracy. Barista Moag. Mwagwa is speaking expectations high nationwide. Call that uh, the presidential elections petitions tribunal will resume seating at the Supreme Court today. And uh, there's so much been said about that uh, seating today, but uh, it has been said that it is just the beginning of the processes and not the final judgment to be declared today. All right, another story here at the down corner. Wike reacts to give me others. Only president determines relationship with countries. All right, he is speaking with regards to the reaction to the visit of uh, the Israeli representative that came to visit him and uh, Sheikh Gumi reacted, calling him uh, unprintable names, so to speak. And the, the minister of the FCT is reacting to statements coming out of uh, the Sheikh's statement. Now, Nigeria customs repel attack on facility. Nigeria Customs Repels Attack on Facility. FBI files on Tinubu's will cause Nigeria great embarrassment. FBI files on Tinubu will cause Nigeria great embarrassment. And uh, another story at uh, the top corner. Crisis Rocks Air Transport Employees Union over doctored constitution. This is an investigation. I believe the majority of persons would want to read to the Nigerian News Direct now. Alleged forgeries, FBI, other U.S. anti-crime agencies to release Tinubu's heating records. Atiku is speaking. As tension rises over Monday's ruling of Supreme Court, PDB boasts of victory at Supreme Court. And uh, the story at the Dow Corner here, 57.6 billion Naira SUV purchase, Sarah files suit to halt lawmakers. Ogun taps other states in IGR generation. A report is saying this. Our contractors the fireworks minister order to return to site. A businessman arrested at Abuja airport with 2.2 kilogram of heroin hidden in stomach. At the top corner, we have uh, Ekiti 2026 ex governors endorse Oye Banji for second term. UBA, MD, Access Bank, MD, others bag uh, an honorary fellowship, yeah. Yahaya Belu escapes assassination in Abuja, but we told you earlier that he has refuted the claims saying it was just a, a misunderstanding between his security detail and a sister agency, which was amicably addressed. We move now to the West newspaper. The major story here, the Kate Southwest now Igboho gives fresh seven-day ultimatum to killer headsmen, writes police. All right, uh, and in effects from the thriving Chico business in Ibarakba. Another story here, Remo stars sing sporting Lagos as Canopilas Hamo Sunshine Stars. Three men caught with human head other parts in Ibadan. Third Milan Bridge reopens to traffic after some uh, palliative repairs. And uh, we require 70 billion naira to overhaul oil education sector, marking day speaking. At the top corner, aftermath communal clashes, Lobu Ifon plead with a delegate to help restore electricity. And another story day, Lagos pulled down luxury homes built on drainages. Atiku Tutinu will stop chasing shadows, address for tree allegation. And then a story here says Ogun targets 200 housing units before the end of 2023. All right. To the Daily Trust now, the major story domestic foreign airlines disagree on multiple designations. And uh, 
and some writers are businesses at risk indigenous carriers go and build your capacity foreign airlines are reacting what bilateral air service agreements says and some stories here Beningwari villagers raise the alarm over Anzaru militants presence Kanu did say Emir seek government support for farmers are drink contractors uh, back to site without payment wrong uh, Human Rights Watch is telling the federal government. All right. Another story here, uh, Pandora's Box, uh, evidence of how Billy Matawali blew billions in cargo airport Zamfara government is saying. All the details on the front page of the Daily Trust. The national economy in Nigeria's auto policy much talk lead to action. Foreign investors shy away from Nigeria. And, uh, and the downstrip, when a fintech startup dies, what dies in you? That's the big question. Unlocking Africa's economic prosperity through local content implementation, Nigeria's collective drive to redefine crude production standards. Uh, these are some of the stories you find on the front page of the national economy. And to the leadership newspaper. Uh, this story here says, three months after student loan scheme yet to take off. Three months after student loan scheme yet to take off. Recall the president had put in place a student loan scheme to help students whose parents cannot uh, uh, afford the uh, school fees, so to speak. And uh, it is being reported here that three months after student loan scheme is yet to take off. And the federal government, if you look at the infographics here, it says federal government taking, taking another look at the law. As uh, September October deadline expires, no sign of education bank application portal still not open. Students are reacting. Under the scheme, eligible applicants will receive up to five hundred thousand naira, or six hundred and fifty dollars per academic session. Recall that uh, this loan scheme had raised some questions and concern when uh, persons read through a majority of Nigerians read through the requirements. Uh, as put together by the federal government. And so, as it has been reported here, that perhaps the federal government is taking another look at the law. Another story here, despite subsidy removal, oil revenue drops by 1.01 trillion naira in July. And uh, anxiety, a Supreme Court rules on ethical motion today. All right, uh, the seating begins, or the process is open today. Uh, the judgment is not today, as uh, we have uh, told you earlier. Israel issues fresh Gaza evacuation warning. There's no assassination attempt on me, says Governor Bellu. A five burnt to ashes in fuel tanker accident in Quara. Uh, a sad one there. Enrollment drops in unit schools over high fees. And another story here, Pandora's box, evidence of how Bilu Matawali blew billions in cargo airports as Amfara government is speaking. All right, that's so much with me, Kemi. On the Nation newspaper, the big story is captioned, Edu, that's the Minister of uh, Finance, the Minister for Finance, that is, and the Coordinating Minister for the Economy. He's quoted as saying that President Tinubu's Homegrown plan is good to revive economy and that there is no likelihood of Nigeria seeking international assistance on debt restructuring. The minister there, Kunle Edo, speaking. Other stories on the front page of the nation is emergency economic bill targets tax reform job creation. And the picture story there is captioned caught in the act and that's uh, the story of a Paris-bound businessman who was found to have excreted 93 wraps of heroin while in the detention of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the NDLEA. Now, this formed part of the arrests uh, that the officers of the agency recorded in the uh, just-ended week. More stories there. Fake Nadeko plots uh, by anti Tinubu campaign. This is an allegation raised by the U.S. body of the All Progressives Congress. And Lagos halts illegal land reclamation in Ikoi as well as Leki. And federal road contractors are given reasons as to why 
they cannot return to sites. In the meantime, a sad report there of the deaths of five persons and uh, many others sustaining injury in Quara petrol truck accidents. These, all these and more on the nation. Blueprint is next. Stir up to court. Stop lawmakers from taking delivery of 57.6 billion naira SUVs for 360 lawmakers at the National Assembly. Troops neutralized 37 terrorists, arrest 95 persons. And um, the big story there, Israeli envoys visit to FCT Minister Yesom Wike with Northern Elders, disowning uh, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, says his views, not theirs. While Pandef, the Middle Belt Forum, caution cleric, that's cleric uh, Gumi, not to undermine nations' diversities, now, WK is also quoted as saying, I don't determine relations between countries. Two dead, others injured in Niger boat Misap. Ahead of the November 11th poll, now there are allegations uh, attributed to the quarters of the Kogi government that uh, elements in the political space may want to uh, cause mayhem. Uh, just before we go, uh, with the, just before we are done with the blueprint, Enugu Nasarawa election petitions presented similar facts, different judgments. That's according to the Liberal Party. And the full text to get more context about this uh, will be in the blueprint. Over now to this Nigeria. Nigerians demand probe of alleged 2.9 trillion naira diversion under Buhari government urging President Tinubu to direct the new AFCC chairman, Ola Olukoyedi, to swing into action and bring the culprits to book. Legal fireworks are set to shift to the Supreme Court today as Atiku Obi and uh, Tinubu commence what has been called an epic battle. Gumi on the fire over attack on FCT minister, Wike Ohanese, MBF, and other social political groups tag Islamic cleric as a confusionist. On Serap, Serap is urging the court in a latest lawsuit to stop the delivery of 57.6 billion naira worth of SUVs to members of the House of Representatives. On business day now, big story is captioned, Forex crisis. Time is running out fast for Tinobu. Faster for Nigeria. Economists say it's time to call IMF and a crude heist dense sale of oil assets with investors, leading business people and analysts are set to be urging the federal government to negotiate a standby support program with the International Monetary Fund as a way out of the worsening foreign exchange crisis following the president's deep market reforms. And there's a story on the front page of the business day on how the 2007 Public Procurement Act failed. Details are there in the business day, in business day that is. Now, interest on CBN loans, almost three times budget target. That's another report you might want to check out on. All right, that's it on business day. On The Guardian, the big story there is captioned at 1,200 naira to the dollar and 985 naira per liter fuel spike. These are all squeezing air travel as well as pricing. And there is, you know, some uh, further depictions uh, through uh, pictorial images. There are some depictions there of just how worrisome the situation is uh, in the aviation sector that is uh, among them some of the major problems or challenges their airline strapped funds aviation fuel for airline trapped funds is amounting to 793 million dollars aviation fuel jet a1 that is is set to be 985 naira to the per liter exchange rate 1200 to the dollar the iata rate as well as the average domestic flight uh, which is ranging between 100 to 100, 100,000 to 130,000 naira per flight. 
On NSAS, Falano asks Minister to review plan on 500 million Naira fine for convicts, rethink palliative, step up productive engagement, coalition resorts to protest lawsuits to stop purchase of 57 billion Naira SUVs for lawmakers. On the Nigerian Tribune now, exchange rate industries battle for survival as Nigerians suffer losses. Manufacturers pay up to 30 different taxes, levies annually. The Manufacturers Association laments petrol pump price hit 630 naira to the litre in Abuja and more filling stations are set to shut down. Contractors oppose FG's order to return to site without payment review. And on Lagos Ibadu Expressway, Ogun State Government gives traders at Kara and other road setbacks 21 days to quit. On the punch now, FG plans 26 trillion naira borrowing, 29 trillion naira for debt servicing, with debt servicing to exceed capital budget spending by 7.69 trillion naira amid slow economy and high debt servicing costs, uh, creating potential fiscal risk. That's according to government. Friends more Nigeria, a medical student who was um, allegedly killed in the Philippines and on the Israel-Hamas war, President uh, Joe Biden of the U.S., the Pope, as well as protesters, are all there calling for a ceasefire. Finally, is Nature News. Green surcharge, FG targets 2.6 trillion naira revenue from taxes on imported vehicles. Lagos government allays fears over threat of flooding. And Nigeria to woo investors at AFDB All right. World Food Prize in okay. the U.S. I believe that's much we can take on the papers this morning. So much to uh, capture in the papers in, top, in terms of uh, stories to read. So you can pick up any of the papers uh, to look for any of the stories that interest you. But coming up on TVC.